getting our stomping grounds. Our usual stomping grounds. Loading up. About to head to Nickerson, Kansas. Something a little different about this load though. Something I ain't done since 2017. Stick around and find out what it is. Something I haven't done since 2016. Have y'all guessed what it is yet? Well, you're gonna find out soon enough. Kansas, which is where we're going to unload. What y'all think about these cool shades? Picked these up at Academy. Some $20 shades. Thought they was kind of cool looking, but uh, I gotta have something cool. You know, because now that uh, we're an owner-operator and everything, you know, we gotta be cool. So, um, Wildbeard, my boy Wildbeard, you know, he wears these kind of shades, and uh, them young guys, they can pull it off. I don't know about us old cats. But, uh, anyway, yeah. So, like I was just saying, I hadn't, hadn't done this in, since 2016. Well, that comes along with, uh, this is the first load I've hauled for myself since 2016, which I am still leased on to Ronnie. And, uh, we signed papers yesterday on the rat rod and a lease agreement to lease back on to the company so pretty much nothing is going to change other than i'm responsible for the truck now and the way i get paid is different so and back in 2016 i was also leased to ronnie with my old truck so i'll try to pull up a few shots of my old truck we'll put them up here while we're talking but uh from back in back in those days when i was running running with him in 2015 and 2016 I had a 1996 Peterbilt 379 but also my first tank of fuel that I've had to put in on me since 2016 so I hope it all works out uh, the economy and stuff is it's not looking good but one thing about ag work and the same thing back in 
2015 when we're not doing so great ag work always comes through for you as long as we don't have a lot of people venturing out to reefer market and flatbed market and whatever market and coming and trying to flood the ag industry with trucks hopefully our rates will stay somewhat decent so uh so yeah the cat's out of the bag y'all this is uh monday april 3rd this is our first load on our own again kind of on our own but nonetheless uh just hope and pray the rat rod stays together <coughs> for for next 18 months that's about what i'm figuring what how long it's going to take to pay this truck off at what it's been doing over i kind of averaged out the last three years that i've been running it and uh or two and a half years that i've been running it and should have no problem in paying the truck off in 18 months so <coughs> excuse me uh middle of uh middle of cotton season 2024 we should have her dead so um about all stuff to say right now. I need to get on down the road. It's going to be a long day today. We're headed up to Nickerson, Kansas. Like I said, we're going to kick this load of fertilizer off and we're going to head back to Woodward, Oklahoma. And we got eight loads coming up here. So Uncle Adam is behind me a little ways. He's bringing one. So we got to each make four rounds. Um, if we get a couple loads called in back toward the house. We'll actually run these up to Kansas, then go back to Woodward, then run those back down to the house. It's the same distance either way from Woodward. Three hours up here, 180 miles up here to Nickerson, and it's 180 miles from Woodward back to the house in the areas we run there. So Woodward's kind of the man in the middle, meat in the middle place. So let's get on down the road, and we'll catch you up here in Nickerson when we're getting unloaded. According to brand, you gotta like that. Gotta like that. Well, first load is in the books. We're gonna head, we're gonna head on back to uh, Woodward, three hours back south, get there about a little after three o'clock, and get us another one, come back up here. Probably end up staying up here somewhere tonight. Unless we get some loads toward the house called in. Ah, easy please, easy please, lemon squeeze. Let's hit the road. Now check that out. Down there be a twin. Yep, damn near a twin. We made it back to Pratt. We're gonna run back in this Casey's truck stop here and get us uh, get some lunch and get on back down to Woodward. Back in Woodward. Back in Woodward. Hard to believe. It's gonna be 25 degrees tomorrow. Tomorrow night, anyway, in Kansas. Looking at that, cause I got a sleep back there um it was 71 when i left nickerson which is three hours away 180 miles away and that's what it is down here in oklahoma the wind hadn't got here yet i was told back in the panhandle back at home which is three hours on south another 180 miles away that the wind is blowing like crazy already so so we're here about to about to load the wagon again, put some tension on the suspension. Old mule's doing all right today. We got a new tune in her. I think the tune's a little too much. So we'll have to do a little retuning, I think, turn it back down a little bit. So <clears throat> I won't go into specifics on that, but uh, we need to keep it right and don't need 
There, there's such thing as not having enough power. There's such thing as having too much power, in my opinion, anyway. So, you, you don't have enough. It's hard on your truck. You know, just struggling all the time. You have too much. It's hard on your truck because you'll tear it up. So, especially if you don't really know how to watch your uh, exhaust gas temperatures on your pyro, and you don't know how to watch your uh, water temperatures, and don't know how to watch your boost. So. Let's just say this same 16Z cat putting out every bit of 45 pounds of boost. And that's just a little too much. So, just waiting line here. We'll get her loaded. We'll head back up to Kansas. It's going to be kind of a shorter video today, but uh, it's the first day of owning the truck or running the truck itself, however you want to call it. We got one load down. We're going to do one more. We're going to stay on the north end tonight, I guess. Let's get her loaded. Hey guys, we're back here. Nickerson, Kansas, once again. About to kick off number two. Second load for your boy, Mr. Owner Operator. <laughs> oh man, been a long day, been a long day, but it's been a beautiful day. They're saying the wind blowing like crazy back at home. So like I was saying earlier, see up here, light winds, you see that, uh, wind sock on top of that tank right there is hey this is barely moving around <clears throat> been an easy day long day easy day pretty day the wind's supposed to blow real bad up here tomorrow so uh, that's not gonna be fun but i know this is a shorter video than what i normally do and i just wanted to come on here and touch base let y'all know what's going on that we did finally signed the papers on the rat rod we uh released back on to uh ronnie's transport and uh we're gonna make a go at it we're gonna see see what we can get done and i i hope for the best and uh i appreciate all y'all that have uh emailed me and uh texted me or direct messaged me on the social media channels um uh, talking about this whole deal and uh, uh you know just giving us the support giving us the support it's it's a awesome deal my wife's all in on it my family's all in on it uh the boss man's all in on it so uh i, I have a good feeling about it as long as, as long as we can just stay busy that's the main thing and i and i have no problem staying busy so that's just the way it is so i don't know how it's going to affect the youtube channel yet if uh you know, I hadn't been putting out as much content as I usually do. It's just because we're running hard right now and I don't have time. I'm going to try to start doing better on that. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to try to start doing my little short one minute daily updates for sure. Keep y'all, keep y'all abreast of what's going on and, uh, what's happening from day to day. We'll, uh, I'll try to do one or two of those, maybe three of them a day just for little check-ins and then I'm still gonna try to put try to put at least one video a week out so uh we're gonna do our best on that part but so let's get out of here get in the truck here that's this guy unloading in front of me right now as soon as he gets out of the way i'm gonna get in there and unload and uh that's uh i'll close out the video with a little bit of a little bit of b-roll from that but thanks for hanging out be sure to hit that like button uh drop a comment let me know what you think about the whole thing and uh the whole deal and uh yeah just uh share it out share the video out and i don't ask folks to do that very often but share it out uh like it comment subscribe if you uh if you feel like you need to subscribe so thank y'all and like we always say here keep shiny side up Hammer down, support your troops. We'll see y'all on the next.